When I was younger I went on a road trip with my friend without my dad's permission in high school. I went on a secret trip to Six Flags from Houston to Dallas. Just me and a friend, and being exhausted from 12 hours straight of roller coasters. Around 3 a.m., I was starting to hallucinate while driving the both of us home. I saw a herd of cats on the road and the silhouette of a vampire on a road sign. The worst one was when I thought the road dropped off at a 90 degree angle, like rock bottom in Spongebob. All of a sudden, a car appeared 30 feet in front of me on the highway. I pulled over to gather myself and we made it home safe. Kinda terrifying but the fun we had at Six Flags and the fact we didn't die made it all worth it in the end. I got a grade in a project I never even started on. Okay so this sounds like I'm copying off some guy a few days ago but I swear it's the truth. And that person's story is actually the reason I remembered this. During my first semester this school year I was in a marketing class for basic stuff like the economy and that stuff. To be honest I never wanted to be in that class and it was really boring but I still did most of my work and would also just spend my time on my phone when we received work that I could finish in minutes. So a few weeks before the semester ended we needed to come up with a business plan for an imaginary business. I must have missed the class or fell asleep cause I had no fcking idea what to do. And I felt embarrassed on asking the teacher as I was the only one who didn't know what to do. I'm extremely shy by the way. So for the next few weeks while everyone is working on their made up business, I was on my phone just going through Instagram and that stuff. And then the due date. My god I was scared as I would be the only one without a project. A few days later my teacher calls me down and asks where is my project. I literally had no reasonable excuse to give so I just said that project simply disappeared. She came over to my computer and looked through and didn't find my project, obviously. And she believed me. She said that she had seen me work on it and so she would give me a good grade. I must have been working on other stuff from class cause I obviously never worked on my project. Do I feel guilty? Not really as without that grade, I might have failed the class. Will I do it again? No, cause most of the time, I'm the good and honest student. Told lie for sympathy, I told a lie because I needed sympathy. I experienced two bereavements close together, my sister and my dog, just before I left for college. My mental health seriously declined during the first week, and I ended up with my flatmates calling the student crisis team. I didn't come out my room, spent all day inside crying and barely understanding reality. For some reason, I felt like an idiot for being so upset about just my sister and my dog. I know they doesn't really make sense, but I was in a crazy headspace. So I said I was grieving for my sister and my boyfriend. I don't slash didn't have a boyfriend. So the crisis team referred me to the counselor who referred me to the mental health team for my area. I assumed each of these people would have been told the situation of why I was upset and therefore felt I had to keep the lie up. A year later, my fake boyfriend is still brought up in therapy and it's on my record. I am way too terrified to tell the truth. It doesn't feel like an option at all because then that would go on my record that I'm a liar. I'm emotionally attached to my therapists and don't want to make them hate me, even though it's their job to be impartial. I feel so guilty for lying for sympathy, and for the last few days I have been struggling with it a lot, haven't been able to eat or anything. But I cannot tell anyone or it'll it never live it down. I feel worse than those people who lie about having cancer or something. Because it's on my record I feel like I can never forget about it as I'll probably be in therapy for a while and it'll get brought up again and again. It escalated so much from a stupid selfish lie and I can't forgive myself. I'm trying to not mention it in therapy, just saying that I want to deal with it privately by myself and that I'm using friends and family to help me grieve instead, and trying to direct focus onto other problems that don't involve talking much about grief. Please does anyone have anything to say? Do I deserve this guilt?